So there we go, the red's out and partially pulled apart. I had a few guys that live in the uh, Northern Hemisphere who were saying, oh man, that looks like our old um, straight six, inline six bloody Chevy engines. Well, it is a bit. Um, and the Holden engines do share some similarities with Chevy. Actually, these, these lifters are identical to like mm, 70s era 350s. 350 Chevy V8, same lifter. That seal, it's the same as a Chevy. Small block. The um, difference here is that the oil pump is external. And it, alongside the distributor, are driven off the camshaft. There's a there's a gear down in there, you won't see that because it's too dark, but there's a gear down there. Bridge to rockers like uh, our V8s have, uh, have the bridge to rockers. These the earlier, earlier six cylinders, this design engine, block, engine block, has been uh, holding this powerhouse from uh, 1964 in various guises from uh, 149 this is a 173 as I said before but from 149 to 202 cubic inches which kind of finished in the 80s the 85 with the um, with the black motor but covers side plates, pumps, heads, all the bolts that are around it would all be interchangeable between 1964 and 1986 engines. Um, engine mount design there, dipstick, they're all in the same place. And, uh, and that was what's so good about the Holden engine is that you could just about get anything off anything and it would fit your Holden. And that was a good thing. But anyway, so I'll pull him down. Let's have a look in uh, inside So there's the head off. And nothing looks in bad shape. I don't see any seats that have been smashed down into the into the head or anything. No valves. Nothing looks like there's anything really. Other than the fact she, she's been so, she's sooty. Now it's had a lot of soot. Well, it's got a lot of soot because he's um, either driven it on the choke too much or maybe the carburetor's not real well. There's nothing really concerning. There's no massive ridges there. That's a genuine gasket. So I say this head's never been off, as you can see Holden written in there. That part number. I believe that is a genuine gasket. Yeah. I believe that's a genuine gasket. So I say this thing's never been pulled apart. Now when you look around it, you really don't see anything that concerning uh, well maybe it was starting to, might be starting to go there maybe or there maybe yeah probably there starting to go it would have gone at some point I expect I expect it would have failed there eventually but otherwise um, that's not bad well, I reckon that's probably pretty untouched a bit of shit, a bit of shit, bit of shit up in there. Let's see up under that. Oh, we get the light. <coughs> we see it there? Yeah, there it is. There's some muck in there. Stuff in there, in there, in the pickup. Other than that, it's not too foul. Uh, 
of times if somebody says, even if they've just done a set of rings or something, you'll see you know, number marks on the, on the rod so they go back in their right slots. There's nothing there. So then when we look in you'll see there's access for some Phillips screws. Um, and so we'll bang on them with a, an impact driver, pull the cam out. It still has the original fibre gear. That'll probably end up with an alloy gear on it. I did that, they did this alloy gear get stuff and uh, where are we up here? in amongst the pile of things, here we go you see there's a plastic gear on the distributor they did all that to try and stop the noise and uh, anyway I've got this upside down to pull the cam because the lifters are stuck, stuck, stuck stuck in there, but anyway I'll slide that cam out of there and we'll punch the lifters out of him and have a look what else was, have a look what that looks like so the cam Although it's not in the best of shape, it's not the worst, but obviously has wear. You can see on the lobes there. Gives you some light, eh? Oh, don't worry about that, it's, it's a diesel forward focus fuel pump I'm in the process of doing too. So I'm pulling this down while I'm waiting on parts. And uh, it didn't look all that horrible. Lifters, I suppose, are probably what you're going to expect to see. Anyway, I'm going to punch them out through the bottom. And uh, yeah, that stuff. So there's our lifters, and you can see we've got a little bit of a we've got some we've got some divots in there. Yeah, we've got some we've got some marks in there. We've got some divots. I don't know what's better, light or no light. Probably no light. That's one of the worst ones there. But anyway, yeah, so that's a lifter. It just looks like a small block Chevy lifter. Um, yeah. So they'll go in the bin. Cam and the gear will go in, or the cam and the gear will go in the bin. I'll keep the thrust, we'll keep the, the plate off it. Uh, there, of course, that's the where the, the cam, the uh, distributor and the oil pump run off. And uh, uh, get some pistons out and have a look in there. So there's the big end off number six. And she's wore out, there's no doubt about it. <coughs> but it doesn't look, you know what I mean? The crank looks pretty good in shape. This fella here, I think we'll get these resized because this had a little, this has got a little spread in it. In other words, when I try to take the, the rod cap off, take the cap off, it, it wanted to fight with me on the threads coming off. And when it came off, <coughs> it left the shell behind. Stuck to the crank. And usually what will happen is the, the shell will come out with the, with the with the cap, if it's got a good fit, but that's um, that's just worn out. That's all that is. 
What is it going longer? Oh, I think it would have gone longer. I don't know how much longer, but it would have gone longer. Anyway, we'll pull some pistons out. Again, the rod end of the bearing here, the upper section. It's not clogged. I mean, it's worn out. It's worn out. There's no doubt about that. But it's not like clogged the guts out of. Side of the piston doesn't look like it's been hammered to by jingos, does it? Rings are still loose in the in the um, grooves. Hmm. She's just honest and old. The seven main bearing crank. This is this is the thrust where the thrust sits, and it, it has uh, the two-piece neoprene rear main seal. Uh, the earlier series had wick seals in them. An actual when they used to come back to hold and leaking, the wick seals you get a punch down on the wick seal, you punch that up further, punch that up there further, flip that over, put a new um, wick seal in there and leave it a bit proud at the ends and uh, ram it in there and that's what their fix was. But um, yeah, so I'll slip that crank out now before, while well, it's upside down before I turn it over and I'm just going to slip a ring in and see how how worn the rings are. Now as we look at the mains, again, nothing horrible, just worn out. No more white metal on there at all, I don't think. Just worn out. There's a ring off a piston, I just grabbed any. And you can see there's wear. In there, it's hard to see. Yeah, you can see that that weird little wear line there. That's higher that area than that area, so that's been flopping around in the piston a bit. It's fairly sharp on the edges. Uh, and I'll just uh, stick them in a ball. We'll measure it up. There we go. All stripped down. Right, I'm ready to go to the machine shop. Just in case you were wondering, and you see there. Get you a good shot. Uh, bit hard for you guys to see, but that's it. There we go. They're a standard, original, big end. Mains are the same. All standard. Uh, and, uh, so we'll just make sure that the bore's good and square, and if the bore's good and square, we might throw new pistons in it, depending on the on the um, on the how's you going. Did I mention about the piston ring? Stuffed it in there. It's about seventy thousand. Uh, no, about forty thousandths. So it's, it's worn. Seventy thousandths was that other shit box, wasn't it? The Pathfinder. So. Um, Next time we speak about this one, I guess it'll be reassembly time. And so until next time we meet, have yourselves a good one. We'll check you later.